Swoosh cord by Aniu. This cable is budget priced and it comes in a pack of two, but you do get what you pay for and it's not great. Now for cables, I test them by measuring the charge and data rates. I bend it thousands of times using the Master Bender 9000 and then I retest the charging data rates to see what did the bending do? Now spec wise, this thing supports 240 watt charging. It means it's PD 3.1 compliant. They don't tell you anything about the uh, data speeds though. It's not good. Physically, this cable is really stiff. If you bend it, it tends to just kind of keep its shape which is unusual. The connectors are asymmetrical as one of them has a full metal head, whereas the other one has a crack in it, we'll say. It's just a design feature, looks neat. It needs to be like a little LED light that lights up when you plug it in. Oh wait, that's exactly what that little uh, ticky thing is. The version that I bought said it was two meters. Well, it's actually 2.02 meters. Bonus. Now when it comes to charging performance, I had a hard time hitting 100 watt consistently. The average voltage drop for all my charge tests was 0.73 volts, which is not great. Cable resistance was also a bit higher at 0.2. In terms of data speeds, it only had USB 2 data speeds. Write speed was higher than average, but read was lower. But the mixed folder transfer speeds is where the cable shards the bed. Like it's so slow, it's a red flag to me. In terms of durability, these guys say you can bend it 45,000 times. And because I'm generous, I added 10% to that. So with this cable, I used my Master Bender 9000 and bended it almost 50,000 times. Can you tell which one went through 50,000 bends? Yeah, it's the one with the green tape head. Like all the other ones, is very loose compared to the one that didn't get bent. Um, but other than that, not a lot of fraying. So I I guess it kind of holds up, maybe. Now post bending, uh, nothing really changed in terms of uh, charge speeds, but dang, data speeds were brutal. Average speeds for large files was 19 and 22, so quite a significant drop, and the mixed files, it wasn't much better. So would I get this as a reviewer? Absolutely no! Even though the price point of this product is very, very attractive, well, charging is terrible, data speeds are flaky, and to me the promise of USB-C is that it is universal in everything, and this thing is universally bad at everything. I'm on a mission to figure out what the uh, best USB-C cables are out there. First time watching my videos, I do encourage you to click subscribe. If you're gonna get one of these cables, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not influencer. No one's paying me to do these reviews. I just wanna figure out what the best tech is out there. Thanks for watching.